Acudens ferox, the spike tooth, is a post-human species from three million years in the future. It first appeared in Dougal Dixon's 1990 speculative evolution work, Man After Man. The spike tooth's ancestry can be traced back to the 25th century. During this time, humanity was leaving Earth to colonise the stars, and those left behind had to fend for themselves. Those who had used genetic modification and advanced mechanical engineering technologies to keep themselves alive in a heavily polluted world, the high techs, had begun work on repopulating Earth with newly created life forms. These life forms were designed and bred using Homo sapiens DNA as a starting point. One of these was the temperate woodland dweller, an Australopithecus-like species designed to live and flourish in the remaining forested areas of Earth. And it did just that. The forest dweller went on living and around three million years later, it had evolved into several distinct forms. One of these forms, the topic of today's video, was the spike tooth. As we can see from the illustration, the spike tooth is named for its long, pointed upper incisors. Usually in carnivores, it is the canines that develop as killing teeth. This is not the case with the spike tooth, however. The emergence of the spike tooth as a successful predator can be attributed to the high prevalence of herbivorous animals. Many of these are also descendants of the high-tech's genetic creations. The prey item of choice for the spike tooth is a large, lumbering species known as the Slothmen. As the Slothmen are, as their name suggests, slow-moving and docile creatures, the spike tooth has become rather slow itself. Hunting the Slothmen requires neither stealth nor speed, and as such, the spike tooth can rely solely on its brute strength and razor-sharp claws and teeth to bring them down. The Smilodon-like spike tooth is notable for its striking yellow coat of fur. This could be like the tundra dwellers with their white coats, a form of camouflage, though this isn't stated outright. However, judging from the small glimpse we are given of their environment, this could indeed be the case. Behaviour-wise, the spike tooth is extremely vicious and dangerous. They are completely emotionless and predatory, though they do hunt in mated pairs. In one recorded instance of a mated pair engaged in hunting a slothman, the book states, The first spike tooth, less experienced than the other, leaps for the broad back, hooks on to the long fur, throws up his head and drops his jaw, ready for the strike. This is a mistake, as it enables the slothman to use his only weapon, his weight. He slowly topples backwards, while the attacking spike tooth tries frantically to untangle his claws from the fur. Remorselessly, the attacker is pressed back down into the bracken and the soil of the forest floor, and the slothman lands spread-eagled on his back, with his enemy crushed to death beneath him. However, this makes him vulnerable to the dead spike tooth's mate. She now leaps upon the unprotected chest and plunges her long killing incisors into the slothman's neck. The kill is a success, which is all she knows. There is no grief for her dead mate. The spike tooth has evolved so far from the original human state that she feels no emotion at all.